may have already seen that Evidence for Learning comes preloaded with a range of frameworks. But you can, in fact, add any framework, whether that's a comprehensive set of assessment criteria for your whole curriculum, maybe some ICANN statements that you've developed yourselves, or perhaps some learning outcomes that you've created to meet the needs of an individual learner. So, in this tutorial, let's take a closer look at how we add frameworks. And if you have a cloud subscription, you'll have to put the device into administrator role first, and you can see how to do that in the Help Center. Tap the settings in the top left of the screen. Open the frameworks. On this device I've already got EYFS and P-Scales, and to add a framework, tap the plus button in the top right. To pick a framework from the built-in library, tap the magnifying glass on the right hand side. We've got a range of frameworks to choose from. Let's add schema. And then tap save. Now in our list of frameworks we can see schema and we can tap to view it. But what I really want to do is add my own framework. This is what I'd like my framework to look like. I've got two levels, and each level has two learning areas with a list of statements. But before we start, it's worth pointing out there's a link at the bottom of the screen that takes you to a web page with all the information you need, uh, how to add your frameworks and how to format the data, uh, and even some example data at the bottom of the screen. So to add our framework, let's give it a name, and let's call it Mathematics. And let's add level one. And within level one, we want a learning area called numbers and the number system. And we're gonna prefix that with a hyphen. We use hyphens to indicate that the line is grouped with the line above. And the hyphen is so the system knows that it sits within level one. And so to add our statements to numbers and the number system, we're gonna add two hyphens as a prefix. Um, and I'm going to paste these ones in. And you'll see also that there's an open and close square bracket. And that represents a tick box. And when we import this data, the system will know that these items, these statements, are tickable. And next, we want to add our second learning area, shape, space, and measure. And this we want to be a subsection of level one. So we only need one hyphen on this line. And below that line, we'll paste the statements we want under shape, space and measure. And again, you'll see these statements will have two hyphens and then an open and close square bracket. The two hyphens will indicate the statements are part of the shape, space and measure group. And the square brackets will indicate that the statements are tickable or selectable. So let's add level two and the learning areas and statements that we want to fall within level two. And we're going to follow the same rules. And I'll just speed this up a little. completed framework. In this tutorial I've constructed the data for this framework directly within the app but actually in practice it's often easier to format the data in a text editor on a Mac or a PC and then paste the data into the app. And when we're ready tap save and our framework will be added to the list of frameworks. And there it is. Great. You can't edit frameworks and that's because we need to protect the evidence that may already have been captured. So it's really important that you check the structure of your framework and that each of the statements are correct. And if you find the framework's not quite right, you can delete the framework, modify your text, and then import it again until you get it just right. And now I have the framework, I just need to quickly build a grid template so I can track progress. 